Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another exciting grammarous video to share with you. This set is actually the um I would say another version of the secret uh monochrome uh design. It's actually called the um midnight um monochrome design. So it's quite similar to the secret uh, monochrome design, which I had in my last video. Um, but I think this, like, this um, set is even more glamorous. And how do we know that? I can only show you by unwrapping this first, set it up for you, and let's go into detail. All right, I have already taken them out from their original uh, plastic bags. And then we can actually look at each individual um, pushes uh, by themselves itself. Um, let's just look at Kurumi as like what we always do, starting from Kurumi first. So as you can see, starting from the top, the ribbon of this um, uh, midnight um, marrow coral set is the ribbon is also flat and then you can see that it has a signature scar here and look at the eye area it's quite similar to the secret uh, marrow coral design that it also has a red um, eyelashes a uh, red um, eyeshadow pardon me on them and this kurumi does have a little mouth here as you can see here but she's extremely, extremely furry. And the material that they use for this push is really more glamorous. And I would say it's better material in the sense that it's, it feels very soft to touch. And again, she has a pink nose and a little mouth there. And we can see a gem here on her ribbon itself because her dress is basically so black. So you can only see... Uh, what you can see here in the camera, the camera doesn't do justice to her costume. So you can see laces all over her collar here. You can see here. And moving to the back of it, she has actually also a sailor kind of design at the back. And she has black wings here. You see that as part of her design. So that is what make her make this design really um, a bit more unique than um, the secret chrome, uh, metal chrome design. So uh, I'm going to just turn ourselves back here again. For her dress itself, you also come with um, ribbons all throughout, but because the dress is black, you can't see too much detail there. The material of the dress is quite similar also, meaning it just fluff up really easily. And I do not know what material this is. Maybe the tech can tell me something about it. But the material they use are very suitable if for display doll purpose. So as you can see, the dress just fluff up, in, fluff up in this way. And you very much can display her very well. Whether you're going to hang her up um, on your handbag or your backpack. She just looks lovely like that. And look, she her shoes are so pretty. Is it a ballet shoes? I'm not sure. She has a cross uh, on design on her shoes itself. I like this. It looks like she's dancing on the ballet shoes. But um, that's not the best thing about her. The best thing about her is over at this side. You maybe can't see it too well. She has a ribbon here and there's actually a cross ribbon on her ear, on the side of her ears also. And then you can actually see that this actually makes her look extremely lolly tear style. I think it's called lolly. It is, it's also on the other side. Because she's so black, a lot of her details is not really reflected. Oh, she wear a black little pants, of course, underneath her. And I uh, haven't shown you the tag. So this is the tag. This is how she looks like. She's just so beautiful, isn't it? All right, let's just move to My Melody. Okay, this My Melody version is quite similar to the Kurumi version. But I think um, what is so different is the spongy ribbons that you can see here. So Kurumi ribbon is very much flat. But this ribbon is very much um, 
fluffy so they put fluff on this ribbon it come with laces which is extremely adorable see this design here is also on kuromi but because kuromi is so dark in color you can't see in details but when it comes to in my melody design you can see this zigzag um, design clearer with a ribbon on here and it's the same on the other side and let's just talk about the color they use on this push i really like this i don't even know if you know what color this is, let me know. I'm not very good at color. To me, it does look like um, pink, a kind of pink color, but it's so gentle. It's like a lilac pink, if there's such color at all. But um, she's extremely soft also. The material used is extremely luxurious, in my opinion. She also have a red um, eyeshadow around her eyes. A pink nose and a little mouth but I think it's covered up by all the fluff there yeah you see and she has also a, a, a sort of crystal a hard crystal on the ribbon here her costume is very much or her dress is very much the same as Kurumi but you can see it better because it's pink color here now you can see the difference between the ribbons and the, the laces um, color and also the dress so as you can see, there are ribbon all over her dress. And if we, if we move to the back, it's the same at the back. You have ribbons all over her little dress. And the same with Kurumi's um, dresses. She also have the sailor style at the back with laces. And instead of a gray um, wing, she has an angel white wing. And that makes it look so, so adorable. Okay, I'll turn her around because it looks so adorable like this. Okay, same. I think she has a ballet shoes also. And she's wearing a pin little shorts inside. That is her label. Look at this label itself. You know that it's very um, lolete style. You know, look at all the black laces and uh, the color they use. It just spells sweet and adorable to me. All right. That is the mascot design for my melody and Kurumi. I shall rest them aside and let's look at the push. All right, let's have a look at my melody first. All right, this bigger version of my melody um, is again, like what I say, is bigger better. No bigger may not be better, but she looks so adorable being a bigger size uh, push itself. So as you can see, the, the ribbon on her head is extremely fluffy. It's quite comfortable to feel. It just feel, it, it just make it more dimensional. Like you can see it popping out in this way. And it looks good on her. And same with the mascot design. She has a zigzag ribbon across her ears with a ribbon tie on the top. Same for this side. If only I can make you guys feel how I feel uh, in terms of the material use. It's extremely soft. So as you can see, the bigger version is not as uh, fluffy. The fur is not as long as the, um, the mascot version. But it's still as the, the material use is still very, very soft and very, very comfortable. And same thing, they are wearing the same costume. Basically, you see a crystal hat and then a black ribbon. And you see the laces in this very nice pink color. And at the back of it, you also have the sailor style. But this time around, as you can see, because it's bigger, the wing, they are managed to put in more detail in it. In the mascot design, you can only see a plain wing. But in the push design, it's more detailed. You can see that they can actually draw the, the, the shapes of the wings a little bit better here. And it looks so much better anyway. So the dresses, of course, being bigger, you have more ribbons on them. It's been longer. And frankly speaking, this push is so, so beautiful. I think... Um, it's very hard for the camera to do it justice because it's just looking so, so fantastic in real life. Um, 
She also have ballet shoes, I think. If you look at it, that's the ballet shoes. Wearing the same pink color little short pants. And the back of it, I think they put beans on the bottom here. So that she can actually sit very well uh, on display or on your bed. So I actually find that this design is a little bit better than the secret um, Merochrome. I like this uh, much, much better. And of course, because this is so popular, it got sold out quite quickly. So I don't think now you can actually find them. I think in eBay, they are selling at least four, three to four times now the original price. So this is the tag. As you can see, it's so lovely. And then this is the back of the tag. All right, let's just put her aside. So when I got her, um, basically I got her from eBay. I couldn't get them anywhere else. Um, they, they cost quite a lot also. But even that was the case. I'm still very happy that I have her. And of course, when you have my melody, how can you leave Kurumi aside? So they come as a set. <laughs> so this Kurumi is very adorable, if not more adorable than my melody. Uh, I think my melody is more adorable in this version. But look at it. Um, her ribbon is flat, fairly flat, with her signature score on the top of it. And black and lazy, not as fluffy. So, and because she's so black, a lot of details is quite difficult to see in the camera. Like, I'm going to move a bit closer. You can see this zigzag um, uh, ribbon across her head, uh, on, on her ears with a ribbon here. It's not visible, um, as visible as it is in my melody because the color difference allowed you to see it a little bit better. So on the other side, it's the same. Yes, it has a, a zigzag cross ribbon on this side. And she also wear a red eyeshadow around her eyes. Like the mascot version, a pink nose and the mouth. So if you look at the mascot version of it, he's just really looking at... There's a small version. This is a big version. They look exactly the same. But the strange thing is when you have the small version and you have the big version, right? You always feel that things are quite completed. Not sure why my melody was actually facing downwards just now. Maybe I push her. So... Um, her dresses is the same as my melody and also the mascot design. So it does have crystal in the middle and the ribbon here. Lacy uh, colors with black wings and sailor back, sailor design back. And again, like what I say, you are able to see more details on the wing itself. They're able to carve something on the wing itself. When it comes to the mascot design, you can see that the mascot design is very much plain and then the um, wings are much more obvious on this side. All right, and then we look at her dresses itself. Her dresses has many, many small ribbon on it, but I guess because it's been a black dresses like this, you can't really see the contrast a lot, but it's still a very glamorous and beautiful dress. We move in front again. She has a ballet shoes and the black pants. And if you look at her, she's really just beautiful. I mean, like if you put My Melody and uh, Kurumi just like that on a display, they just look so fantastic and glamorous. I mean, you can't regret buying or getting this set, or at least for someone who like a Kurumi and a My Melody. This is almost a set that you shouldn't be missing out. So again, there are beans on the bottom of her bump so she can sit properly. She has her signature tail that looks, well, you can still see the arrows design on her tail. And this is her label. That says, oh, and also to mention, this is actually a 2021 design. Can you see from the label itself? 
instead of a 2022. So this is actually much, much earlier than the secret Merochrome design. So I guess this is the reason why the price in the market or in the secondhand market now actually scales up quite a lot because it has been two years since anyone had any more of this design. All right. Um, uh, having said about market and all this, we'll be just focused, we should be just focusing on pushes and toys and adorable stuff. So this is what we have for today's video. All right. So if you guys like my video, can you please share them, put a like on my video and I will really appreciate if you also subscribe to my video because that will help my um, channels to basically grow and then I'll be able to bring more adorable video to you guys. Till we meet again next time and see ya!